back to another Film Geek Monthly Wrap-Up. So, um, I did a thing. Alright, so I was on eBay recently, and I had a little money to burn, and I was kind of thinking about maybe finding, you know, a, a rare DVD or something to make a nice little eBay purchase. And while I was on there, I came across something very tempting. And if you know me, you know I have a weakness, and that is mystery boxes. I love mystery boxes. I will always, I'm the guy who will always go with what's behind door number three. You know, in the, and I never get anything good, but just something inside my body tells me it's got to be better inside that thing. I have to know what's inside the thing. I think that's mostly what it boils down to is I just have to know what's inside the box. So anyways, while I was on eBay, I came across the post. For $41, I could purchase 100 random DVDs. Now, I was promised, we'll see, I was promised that these were going to be all like, you know, fairly popular movies, no workout videos, no padding type stuff, and um, there could be just some random, you know, seasons of TV shows. I'm okay with that. I'm all right with that. We'll see what's in here. So, yeah, I have no idea, guys. No idea. And see, this is something I find funny. I don't know if you can see this or not, so I'm going to pick it up a little bit. Okay, so this thing is actually in... Ah! Uh, it's in a U-Haul box. Like, it's in a U-Haul moving box. So, I'm kind of wondering if this was just like, you know, somebody was moving, and they were like, you know what, man? I don't care about them DVDs, all right? And they just put them on eBay. Like, I don't want to unpack them. I don't want them. So let's just get rid of those stupid things. <laughs> okay, so uh, we're going to find out what's inside here. So here we go. I'm excited. I'm really excited. Got my blade here. Safety first, right? Always cut away from you. I feel like, oh, I'm not cutting through the movies. Open this up, and I've just, like, sliced off the tops of everything. Now, they also said that there might be more like 107-ish in here. They threw in some spares because they were worried maybe something might get beaten up and shipping. <sighs> here we go. What are we going to find? Oh, well, right out the gate, it's hard to tell because they put them in like this. So they're all... <laughs> it's a mystery. All right, here we go. So, oh, actually, I have this one. 500 Days of Summer. That's a good flick. And oh, by the way, guys, the way I'm looking at this is, too, if, if, I, if I have the movies, I mean, this is just out of sheer curiosity and for, for a fun video to see what you get when you buy 41 random DVDs off of eBay. So we're, we're seeing what you get, okay? <laughs> so that's the whole point of this. Um, and I also, anything that I have that might be a repeat that I have in my collection, I'll probably just be doing a swap out for them. Something else down the road, like something at vintage stock or something like that. So here we go. My first random. I have the first season of Dexter. That's not bad, actually. That's actually pretty good. I mean, when it comes to a TV show, I mean, the first season. Normally, it's like uh, season 5.2 or something weird like that. So the first season, I can deal with that. Oh, okay, now you see me. I don't have this movie because I don't really like this movie. But I'm happy, you know, I don't have it. So maybe I'll watch it again. Maybe I'll like it this time. Who knows? Oh, <laughs> Night and Day. Uh, I don't... Oh, it's Cameron D. <laughs> I love the fact that it's 25 cents. <laughs> so this came from... McKay's Books, CDs, Movies, and More for 25 cents. Tom Cruise, Cameron Diaz, Night and Day. I must have missed that one. So that's awesome. That's obviously good. Ooh, I don't have this one. This is a good one. The Firm. Sticking with the uh, Tom Cruise thing. All right. That's a good movie, though, if you haven't seen The Firm. And I think that might be... I think that might be a hard-to-find one. I could be wrong. I bet that's on Blu-ray. It's a Tom Cruise movie. Okay, we got Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. So that one will probably be traded in only because I have the complete collection. Oh, 300, Rise of the Empire. That's the sequel to 300. I don't have this one. You know what? I've never, I'm going to be honest with you, I've never seen it. 
Um, I, I heard it wasn't as good as the first one, and then I just never got around to watching it. Okay, let's see here. We got a lot to go here. Oh, dude, yes! Eddie Murphy Delirious. This makes me happy. I got ice cream, and you don't. <laughs> I got the ice cream. Oh, my God. If you know the joke, I'm not going to finish it because... Out of context, it doesn't make much sense. But if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. Eddie Murphy Delirious. I might be popping this one on when I'm done filming. All right, here we go. I don't know what this one is either. The Grifters? The Grifters. Uh, Angelica Houston, John Cusack, Annette Bening. This is a good freaking cast. All right, this, this is a nice find. I've never heard of this movie before. The Grifters, that might be a, uh, a little hidden gem. A little hidden gem, if you will. Okay, what do we got here? Hugh Grant, Sarah Jessica Parker. Did you hear about the Morgans? No, I did not hear about the Morgans. Have you heard about the Morgans? I have not heard about the Morgans. I don't know what that movie is. Okay, <laughs> I'm getting a lot of movies in here. I don't know where they are, which is good, I guess. Okay, I don't have this one, and it's a pretty good movie. A Leonardo DiCaprio, Blood Diamond. So that's a decent one. I mean, five Academy Award nominations. Oh, I'm trying to move along quickly because there's a lot. There's a lot in here. Okay, I was kind of hoping. <laughs> All right, this is funny, okay? So, um, I don't know if you noticed that the Stuart Little DVD is red. So I thought it might be Stuart Little, but it's not. It's original Bazooka cartoons. Superman. Oh, it includes Bazooka Joe. You know, they don't do Bazooka Joe comics anymore, and Bazooka can't... I don't... That's why I don't... I don't buy it anymore, because I don't get my Bazooka Joe. Kids today, they don't care about the Bazooka Joe. The Warrior's Way? I'm kind of familiar with this movie. I know that it's a... a Kung Fu. <laughs> so that's cool. I, this has kind of been cool so far. I'm not going to lie. Of course, this is just like the first layer. All right, I do have this one though, but mine is in a little bit more worse for wear, and that is Kurt Russell Soldier. I have done a movie, I have done a video, <laughs> video. I have done a movie spotlight on this film, so check it out. Look up Kurt Russell Soldier. This is a really cool, again, like a hidden gem. Oh, Caddyshack. I got Caddyshack, so that's another one I have. All right, you know what? I'm gonna put these my duplicates that I know for sure. I'm gonna stick them over here. So then I can definitely know, you know, what I've got and don't. And you know what I'm saying? What is going and what isn't staying. All right. I'm going to keep Dexter season one, but there's 500 days of summer. Okay. <sighs> National Velvet. <laughs> now, I do vaguely remember this film. Um, it's a horse movie. I remember that. I, I don't even know if I've seen it. Uh, I, like I said, this is one of those I, I know existed. It's got Elizabeth Taylor in it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so bad. Oh, here I am, a movie guy, and I'm pulling all these things out, and I don't even know them. Oh, hey, Beauty Shop. Okay, this isn't bad. This is kind of a sequel to Barbershop, I guess you would say. A, a spinoff, maybe? Yeah, a spinoff. A spinoff of Barbershop. Good movie. I don't have that one in my collection either. Sweet Home Alabama. Now, honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I kinda, kinda like this movie. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry. It's just a, it's just a cute little movie with Reese Witherspoon, and yeah, I know it's one of those tropey romantic comedies. Big shit girl goes down to the old, old, old Alabama, and a uh, whole boy falls in love with a boy down there in old Alabama. You know, one of those movies, but it's still, it's, it's all right. What is this? Oh wow, <laughs> it's a cop. Okay, so it's just a bunch of like horror movies. Just one of those collections, Psycho Stalkers. Psycho Killer, Norman Bates. Uh, let's see here. Descent, Descendant, not Descent, Descendant. I've never heard of these. It's just one of those low budget horror collections. It doesn't mean it's bad. It's just, I, you know, I'll go through and, look and watch those. I'm sure there's something in there that's good. Uh, Flags of Our Fathers. God dang, that's a good one. I don't have this one either. Clint Eastwood. It's the uh, it's the soldiers who put up the flag at Hiroshima, or their the statue was based off of them. That's the it, them and their when they come back home and everything. It's a, it's a good movie. You should check it out. Oh, I do have this one. 
Pirates of the Caribbean is the first one, which is good again because, again, with these sets, you normally get like the middle, or it might, we get like number four or something like that. So that's good. But that's going over here in the discard. So far, doing pretty good, though. The discard only has uh, five. Five so far. And Hitch, I, I, don't, I don't have this movie. I don't dislike this movie. I just don't have it. So Hitch, we all know Hitch. Oh, man, I still haven't got the... Okay, there's a funky blue-colored one in here, too. We'll get to it. Uh, role models! Yes! Okay, wait, I have this one. I have this one. Okay. All right. And I also have the unrated version, too, which is this one. So, cool. This is a great movie. <laughs> Shawn Michael Scott. Uh, um, <clears throat> Shawn Michael Scott. Paul Rudd. Um, it's great. It's hilarious. It's it's a really funny little early 2000s. I think I'm pretty sure it was early 2000s. Ah, uh, okay, I, again, I don't have this one. The Heat, not bad. Not the best movie that, you know, either of these ladies have made, but um, not the worst. <laughs> Melissa McCarthy was in that, what was it, The Happy Time Murders? I saw that in a the theater, man. Isn't that right? Happy Time Murders? Is that the one with the puppets and Melissa McCarthy? It's sad. It was sad. It made me sad. This one didn't make me sad. This one made me chuckle a few times. It's, it's worth the... 75 cents I paid for it. Okay, there we go. Oh, and, oh, hey, True Lies. This is actually pretty cool because it's not on Blu-ray. This is a only on DVD movie, surprisingly enough. Um, James Cameron apparently just hasn't got around to okay in that Blu-ray is apparently what he said. Like, oh yeah, those Blu-rays, uh, The Abyss and that other one. What was it, True Lies, yeah, sorry. Doing Avatar. It was a James Cameron. I think it's a James Cameron. Doing the Avatar. Doing the Avatar for the last 20 years, I guess. So, anyways, True Lies. That one's going over here because I do own that movie. Law Abiding Citizen. Jamie Foxx, Gerard Butler. I. This sounds familiar. This sounds familiar. So, that's cool. All right. Throw that over here. Okay. <laughs> Barbershop 2! Oh, yeah, Barbershop 2! That's funny, I have the first one, so this works out pretty good. The, I, I like the first one a bit more, but this is a solid film too. It's a good, it's a good sequel, it's a good sequel. Find Me Guilty. Okay, I've heard about this movie. I have not watched it before. It's Vin Diesel. Um, I don't know much about it, but I've heard it's pretty dang good. It, it, at least Vin Diesel is good in it, let me put it that way. Billy Madison. I might keep this one though because this one's got the special edition on it and so it might have some things mine doesn't have. So I'm going to put it over here for right now and then we'll see later if I swap it out or not. Ooh, as good as it gets, Jack Nicholson. Yay! This is a good one. Jack Nicholson, Helen Hunt, and uh, Greg Kinnear. This is a great film. Check it out. Fatal Attraction? <laughs> nice! I, I'm pretty sure I don't have this one, so this one's going to go over here. Oh, this is a great movie. Silver Linings Playbook. Very good flick. Oh, yeah. Um, Bradley Cooper. Um, Jennifer Lawrence. I had to look. I'm sorry. I couldn't remember. Jennifer Lawrence. Bradley Cooper. Jennifer Lawrence. Great little drama. It's got some lighter moments in it also, but it, it's overall a drama. But it's a good one nonetheless. Uh, Danny Boy. Looks like it's a dog movie or TV show. There's like a bunch of episodes on the back of it. Okay. It says, uh, a war dog and his return home. It includes five bonus films. When you buy one movie, but we decide you need five more. <laughs> wow. Some of these aren't even open. Okay, this one is Deadly Inferno. Okay, I... I don't know. That looks like a straight to DVD movie if I've ever seen one. Oh, and it also has bonus movies. The, only the best movies come with bonus movies. So this also has Fire from Below and uh, The Day the Sky Exploded. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's uh, The Day the Sky Exploded. Dude, that has got to be the greatest name for a movie I've ever heard. Uh, awake. Okay. Again, I don't, I don't, I don't know that one. All right. Well, I don't own it. Don't know it. I 
do own this one, The Scorpion King. Yeah, I have a new appreciation for this film ever since I saw Nope. I do, but I already own it, so Nope is going, Nope. <laughs> so Scorpion King is going over here. Now if there was any of the sequels, yeah. About a Boy. All right, that's a pretty good freaking Hugh Grant movie right there. I do like that one, and I don't believe I have that one, so boop. The Pursuit of Happiness. We got another Will Smith movie in here. Oh, I do own this one. Great flick, though. Casino Royale. So, you know, I, I will let my friends go through these before I go take them anywhere. I'll make sure, you know, my collector buddies take a look at it. Like, can't make this one. Edson Force. Okay. Cool. It's got LL Cool J in it. LL Cool J, Morgan Freeman, Justin Timberlake, and Kevin Spacey? What the hell? <laughs> okay. All right. No! I now own Dragon Ball Evolution. Oh, I feel so dirty. Oh, no. Oh, no. Take it back. Just take it back. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sleepless. Nice little cop drama there. All right. Castaway. Everyone knows Wilson. Everybody knows Wilson. Oh, X-Men. The first X-Men movie. I do own this one, so that's going over here. We, oh, this is a good one. I mean, I, I have it, but The Princess Bride. There you go. If you don't have a copy of The Princess Bride, you know who to talk to. I have two of them now. You know, I, I think I have this movie knocked up, but I, I'm not 100% sure, so that's going to go over here. And I'm just going to skip ahead to the blue one because I want to know what it is. And it is Ice Age. It's Ice Age. Okay, cool. Oh, oh no, it is original. It's the original Ice Age. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was going to be one of their terrible sequels to this movie, but no, it's just the original, which I do like the original Ice Age. It was a lot of fun. Well, my kids and I had a good time with that one, so the first one's pretty good. After that, I just kind of felt like the it just kind of lost its way. Uh, another one, Unope. Oh, yes! Batman and Robin, or Batman vs. Robin? Batman vs. Robin! Okay, cool. Yeah, you know I love these DC movies, or animated films, so yes, that's a good one. I'm excited about that. Batman vs. Robin. God. We're getting there, guys. Huh. Okay, we've got Vin Diesel, Chronicles of Riddick. So that's, what, two Vin Diesel movies now? Hmm. Oh, like Guardians of the Galaxy in here somewhere? <laughs> the Iron Giant? Some of his finer acting moments. Um, you know, I don't think this movie is as god-awful as people said it was. Yeah, I'm just gonna go out and say that. I don't think it was as, like, I don't think it's a work of art. Or I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say. <laughs> no, I, mean, I don't think it's like like a, it's not Citizen Kane. All right, I put it that way. All right, it's okay. It's enjoyable. It's a popcorn flick. Oh, I used to have this, and now it's come back to me. It's a box set. It's got Legion, Priest, and then this weird Gabriel movie. I'm actually gonna put this over here because I have gotten Legion and Priest on Blu-ray already. So that's going over there. But Legion is pretty decent. It's a little boring, but it's got some good moments. But Priest is very good. Again, did a video on Priest. Look it up. I own this one, but it's a good movie. The King's Speech. It is very excellent. Oh, hey, I don't have this one. This is... I remember it being good, but you know what? I haven't seen this movie in years. Finding Forrester. Um, Sean Connery plays an author, and then a young man wants to learn from him and everything. And it's, it's, it's one of those, like, you know, touching films, right? So... <laughs> Keeping that. Oh, yeah. All right. Seriously. I honestly don't remember if I had this movie or not, but now I do. Young Guns. I'm pretty, I don't think I have Young Guns. I really, I don't think I do. I think I'm thinking of Tombstone that I have. Oh, so. Oh, okay. The, Rob Reiner, the American president. Yeah. American, the American president. It's a good movie. It's a good movie. Got a lot of dramas in here. I have to say I'm impressed with that. I thought I was going to get nothing. I really thought I was going to get like nothing but romantic comedies. And I think I've gotten like two. But so, I mean, I still got a ways to go here, but we're looking pretty good. Lack of horror movies, I'm noticing. Lack of horror movies. Ooh, well, I say that as I'm holding Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. 
Now, this is the one uh, Robert De Niro plays the Frankenstein's monster in this film. And it's, it's very based off of the book, if I recall. I haven't seen this movie in years. I saw it when it came out in theaters because I, I felt like it was going to be kind of like uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula, which it, it kind of is. It's that same type of vibe to it. Um, God, yeah, I need to check that out again. It's been a long time. So that's good. I'm glad I got that one. I've heard this movie's god awful. <laughs> Hitman. I love the video games, though. The games are freaking great. Man, I'm running a room over here. I got my beer. I got, oh man, make sure I don't knock anything over. I think I'm gonna have to start putting stuff on the floor. All right, here we go. Um. Oh my God, this is that. Is this the Kane horror movie? Oh, it is. I've heard this is so good. See no evil, starring Kane. I've heard it's a pretty good little slasher flick, so, you know, I hope, I hope it is. Well, we'll see what that's all about. Kane, of course, the professional wrestler. Oh, Jesus, no. Oh, no. Twilight. <laughs> oh, sweet, now this is good. The collector's edition of Clerks. So that's awesome. I do own this, of course, but I'll put that over here nicely. That's fine. He did. All right, what else do we got here? <laughs> Pathfinder with a really wild cover here. Uh, I do actually own this movie, but it's one of those films I've picked up somewhere down the road and I've never gotten around to watching it. So I might check that out one of these days. I kind of like this. This cover is kind of sick. I like that. Oh, well, it's coming off a little bit though. Uh, so maybe I'll keep this one. All right. Avatar. Didn't I say something about Avatar? Yeah, James, James, James Cameron. <laughs> get on that, get on that Blu-ray. Stop worrying about Avatar. I do own this. So it's going over here nicely and gently. All right. Oh, I do own this one also, but in the realm of more horror movies. Although this is a, I believe this is a PG-13 horror movie, but not bad. But this is the unrated version, and that is Cry Wolf. So somebody's getting that. Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull. <laughs> the sad thing is, guys, I do own that. Alrighty, let's see here. Oh, okay, I, I own the original now. I own the Tom Cruise War of the Worlds. I didn't dislike this movie. I, I thought it was pretty decent. I liked it. We'll put it over here. Um, oh, that's the that blended. That's one of the, I remember this one. This one is the um, Adam Sandler, Drew Barrymore. I don't think I ever saw that one. Okay, this is another good duplicate, but Reservoir Dogs. So somebody's getting Reservoir Dogs. <laughs> Dirty Dancing Havana Nights. Did you guys know they made a sequel to Dirty Dancing? They did, and I own it. Now, I'm only going to keep this for just freaking reasons. I will tell you guys right now, I hate the movie Dirty Dance. I freaking hate that movie. Oh, god damn. Okay, Inception. That's going over here. I don't like that movie. And I don't want to go into my reasons. And I don't want to hear, I don't want to hear about how I don't understand it, and that's why I don't like it. All right. <laughs> okay, this is a good one to keep. Much to do about nothing. Shakespeare. Oh, this has got to... Pretty good cast. I remember Keanu Reeves being in it. Let's see who else. Denzel Washington. Uh, Emma Thompson. Yeah, so good cast of this one. But yeah, some good old Shakespeare. Oh, oh, Shakespeare. What do we got? 15 minutes. Beep. I don't remember that one. <laughs> it's got Robert De Niro, I think it is. Robert De Niro? Yeah, Robert De Niro, Edward Burns, okay. <laughs> um, I do have, of course, the Lord of the Ring movies, so that one's going over here. What else do we have? Happy Feet! <laughs> this is a pretty good one. I'm happy to have Happy Feet. Let's put that there. Uh, it's one of those crappy spoof movies, the date movie. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> those spoof movies, they didn't do so well. This is a film that I've been wanting to talk about for a minute, and I just haven't got around to it. Three Kings. George Clooney, Mark Wahlberg. This is, oh, Ice Cube. I forgot about 
Ice Cube. This is a really cool movie. Uh, it takes place during the Iraq War. They're trying to get this gold and smuggle it back home and everything. It's, it's pretty cool. It's a neat little action film. So I do own this one, but mine's in kind of cruddy shape. So I am going to save that one. Oh, look at that. Is this the first one? Huh? Puss and Boots. <laughs> so there you go. Puss and Boots. So that's something. There we go. Oh, wait, I do want that one. I don't own this one. Uh, Rules of Engagement. Another good flick. All right, I don't own that one. Bloop. So far, I'm doing really well. Uh, well, this one didn't do so. Bewitched, the Will Ferrell, Nicole Kidman film. Yeah. I'm just going to get rid of that one. I really don't want that one. Not oh, behind enemy lines. Now, I do own this film, so that one's going over here. I'm trying to go through this as fast as possible, guys. I really am. We're almost there. We're almost there. School of Rock. I own this. And this one I just saw before, and I'm real excited. Kiss, kiss, bang, bang. I did not own this movie. I was, I'm was. i so happy now that I do. This is great. I did this one back with my Christmas episode. So check that out. Kiss, kiss, bang, bang. Freaking hilarious. I've gone my whole life without owning a copy of this. Now I own Free Willy. Free Willy! <laughs> I'm having way too much fun with this. I don't know what this is. Jessica Simpson, Luke Wilson, Blonde Ambition. So I'm sure it's a romantic comedy. Or it's something. I wanted this movie too. Bill Murray, Broken Flowers. That's good. That's a good one. That's a good find. Okay. Oh, let's put that down here. This pile's getting huge. I'm going to take a drink here. Oh, wow. My boss's daughter. Um, I think I've seen this. Just a goofball early 2000s comedy. Uh, all right. Oh, hey, Friday Night Lights. Here, Friday Night Is that the one? Yeah, isn't Friday Night Lights the one? I, I don't want your life. Is that it? Is that it? I don't want your life. I think that's, I think that's Friday Night Lights. <laughs> Oh, yeah, this is a good one. Finding Neverland. That's a good flick there. Put that down there. That's pretty cool. Remember the Titans? I don't own that one, so that's nice. Ah. Oh. She's the man. Amanda Bynes. Um, I've heard the name of this movie. <laughs> there we go. All right. Jarhead. Uh, this is actually not what you think it is it's not it's not like a wartime action film it's a way more of an in-depth drama but it's good it's good rules of did they just say rules of engagement maybe i got two copies of rules of engagement <laughs> well i got another copy of the firm all right well like i said they said that they uh they filled it up so oh trading places that's a good one i do own that one so that one's going over here Oh, Superman Returns, the Superman movie that just almost got it right. Like, <laughs> I'm like, oh, there's stuff in this movie I really like, and then there's stuff that I'm like, oh, why'd you do that? I do own a copy of this, so that one's going here. Okay, now, I'm all right with this. Grease 2. What's up, Pam? I got Grease 2. They're actually doing a Grease 2 uh, re like a reunion or something like that at one of the local theaters here in town. We're thinking about going to Michelle Pfeiffer, of course. This is definitely one of those so bad it's good movies. It's it's just uh, it's got its own little cult following, and I do believe this isn't. I don't know. To me, I feel like this movie would be hard to find. So maybe it's not. Maybe I'm wrong. But I'm I can't believe I just I can't believe I own Grease too now. <laughs> All right. Oh, this is a good one. Enemy at the Gates. Very good war movie. A Few Good Men? Jeez, keeping with the war dramas. Let's go. Ugh. Ugh. Highlander 2. This probably falls underneath one of my most hated theater experiences of my entire life. Someday I'll go into it. Fuck, I own that now. Okay. All right. What do we got here? Dude, again, Casino Royale. <laughs> oh, man. OK, 
okay. It's the remake of The Omen. Eh, eh, it was just so... Yeah. Not... Not that great. Alright. Okay, this is kind of an... I, I don't know. I remember liking it. Sierra. Steven Zahn. Matthew McConaughey. And who else was in this? I can't remember. Penelope Cruz. Yeah. Um... A little action adventure film, kind of a you know a treasure hunt kind of movie. I like I said, I liked it, but it's been a long time since I've seen it. Okay, I, this is one of those movies that people keep suggesting to me, and so now I own it. Sixteen blocks. I'll check that out. <laughs> okay, I do own this one. Men in Black. This one over here. We're almost there, guys. Oh, I. I do own this one, but I don't own it as a singular movie, so I might keep this. And it's the snap case. I don't know why, but there's just something so nostalgic. But it's it's this freaking box art, man. Look at that. Look at that. Yes. Mad Max. Beyond Thunderdome. Yes. Tina Turner. Ooh, Tina. Tina Turner. Shooting people with a bow and arrow. Oh, Lord. This one might be going on for uh, Christmas here. We have, you know, because it's such a big seller, it's still sealed and brand new. S a song for the season. Christmas thing. It's this family Christmas movie. Oh, boy. Um, I remember this movie existing. A guy thing. Oh, it's got Jason Lee in it. Uh, what we got here? I have never heard of this movie. It's got Antonio Banderas, though. Take the lead. I got Puss and Boots and Take the Lead. Alright, let's see what we got here. Oh, hey, do you guys know Rachel's getting married? Rachel is getting married. Okay. I don't know anything about this movie. Boop. This is the last one, guys. Double Jeopardy. <laughs> oh, it is! It's Tommy Lee Jones and Ashley Judd. Okay, this is the Double Jeopardy I thought it was. All right, not a bad movie. Not a bad movie. Nice little Ashley Judd movie. Okay, well that. What is this? I got a message. I got a message. Need more DVDs like this? Okay, then it's their address. I'm not gonna give out their address. All right, well this is the end. As you could, empty box. So that's it, guys. Okay. Oh, let's put it over here. All right. Wow, that was a lot, wasn't it? <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for checking out the Film Geek. If you liked what you saw here today, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, ring that bell for notifications, and uh, give me the old thumbs up so I know you like what you're seeing. And if there's one more thing you could do, folks, that is keep watching movies. You know I'm gonna. <laughs>